today I'm going to be making a windshield repellent. So this is going to be a little less technical than the Silozane ceramic coating that I made uh, a while back. This one uh, is just to treat windshields probably a couple times a year just to repel water, but I just didn't, I didn't want something that was uh, too complex. I didn't feel like messing around with the Silozane chemistry anymore. So anyway, windshield repellent fluid is actually super simple to make. What you're basically going to do is we're going to hydrolyze some uh, dimethicone oil or um, uh, polydimethyl siloxane um, into smaller segments. We're going to solubilize that in methanol. Uh, that is going to be a complete rest, well, a little bit of ethanol and isopropyl alcohol to make sure that uh, everything is in solution. Um, but it's essentially going to be uh, complete with those handful of, of ingredients. I'm going to walk you through how I'm making it today and, uh, and then we'll jump back down to the garage and uh, tr treat some windshields. So let's get started. This batch, uh, I'm gonna use a 250 mil beaker and I'm gonna make about 200 milliliters because I'm gonna put everything in this uh, beautiful purple spray bottle that I found uh, laying around the house. Uh, so first thing I wanna do is I want to add um, 20 grams for this 200 gram batch of the uh, PDMS or the dimethicone 500 that I picked up on the internet. So we'll go ahead and add 20 grams here, zero my scale. All right, we got a little more than 20, 20.7, 20 that's okay. I will compensate that with the amount of sulfuric acid that I'm using. So again, the sulfuric acid is to activate or essentially hydrolyze this PDMS polymer. When adding the sulfuric acid, I'm gonna move over to the hood and do that because it is concentrated fuming sulfuric acid. I now have my sulfuric acid and PDMS mixing together. I'm gonna to let this go for about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes of mixing, now I'm gonna be adding my alcohol. So I'm gonna be adding 172 grams of ethanol and eight grams of isopropyl alcohol. So I forgot about the difference in density. So a 250 milliliter beaker is actually almost full. Now I'll add the eight grams isopropyl alcohol. And we'll continue mixing this. And what we're looking for is a nice uniform solution. So that's it, that's really all there is to it. We've added um, polydimethyl siloxane to sulfuric acid to activate it or uh, really start chopping down that uh, polymer into smaller pieces of uh, disilinols. What that's gonna do in the solution of methanol is you can apply that to a very clean windshield and then it'll actually temporarily bond to it and give you a really nice water repellency for a while. So once this solution is, uh, has been mixing for a while, Again, I'm gonna go clean up uh, one of the windshields in the garage and we'll apply it and see how it works. So for comparison, before I treat my windshield, let's see how it handles water. As you can see, I get a pretty good... It's not too fast. So first thing I'm gonna do is clean this window really well. Uh, I'm just gonna use Windex. Um, it is winter. I'm gonna turn on my heater so I can uh, get the garage warmed up for this. And it's fairly warm in here. So I've got the windshield nice and clean. Now I'm just gonna wait until it gets it by about 60 degrees in this garage. Again, it is winter. So once it warms up in here, uh, this thing is pretty dry right now, but I want it to be warm so that the uh, uh, my modified silane uh, chemistry pretty much uh, bonds to this glass. So I'm gonna wait probably 20 minutes, and then I'll come back out here and uh, apply the new uh, uh, rain coating. My water repellent coating. I've got a little terry cloth to clean up 
uh, after I apply the coating. And actually, I'm going to be using some small terry cloths to uh, spray and rub in the water repellent, rain repellent, and get a nice even coat across the entire windshield. It is going to look like a dry haze, and then with the heat on in the garage, everything is going to dry. And then I'll probably wait like 15 minutes just to make sure that all the solvents have evaporated. Give that um, uh, Silenol a chance to bond to the glass, and then I'll use a clean terry cloth to kind of polish off that windshield, get rid of all the residue, and it should have a nice water repellent coating. There's no silazane chemistry in this. This is a very simple polydimethyl siloxane rain treatment. I'm curious to see how long it lasts. I have heard that Rain-X products like that really don't last much more than 30 to 60 days. So I'll, uh, I'll add to the comments how long this recipe lasts on my windshield. But pretty good. 